I'm not going to make a wreath tonight. I'm going to spend time um, going over the new signs that I've been working hard on. Um, we've got 12 new signs. Awesome. Um, and what I'm going to do in my um, <clears throat> in my Robin's Wreathery um, page tomorrow, we're going to do a vote. Uh, I want everybody to vote on which is their favorite of the 12 because I ran a contest. Hi, hi, Teresa. Hi, Donna. Um, I ran a contest asking for people to submit ideas of uh, signs they were looking for. And as part of the contest, I took some of the comments and I made a sign that they were asking for. Um, so those people that submitted ideas and I made a sign with their idea, they're going to have a chance to win one of the signs. Only one person's going to win. So, hi, Lisa. I don't want to judge. Um, so I'm going to ask that everybody go on tomorrow and vote for their favorite sign. Um, I think it's going to be awesome. Hi, Missy. Hey, 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 girl. So, um, I, I hope that everybody loves the signs. And again, I need you to vote for your favorite sign. I'm not going to post anybody's name to that sign. So, you go in and vote. And if the, their sign gets the most votes, they get a free sign. All right. So, let's get started. Um... I'll start with the ones that everybody was requesting, all right? I had a person request um, gamer signs. Their children are into video games, so they wanted gamer signs. And the person that requested this, I then got an order for custom signs requesting this. So um, it's what people are wanting. So I'm trying to reach out and come up with different things that everybody is looking for. So, yay. Hi, Brenda. So these are, these will be listed under one. Okay. They will be gamer signs. Because like I said, somebody said they wanted these and then somebody requested custom ones. So I did these for their grants, for her grandsons. So Okay, so that's the first two. That says, do not disturb gamer at play. This one says, leave food and drink at the door. Do not disturb. <laughs> I thought that was a cute one. All right. Another one uh, that I had request for. Everybody said that the dog and cat signs that are out there, they all look alike. So they wanted some different dog and cat signs. So... All right, I'm going to start with the cat sign. Life is great. Cats make it better. And another thing people were looking for were the vertical signs, like this size, which is 12 by 6, and then the oval. I had a lot of requests for oval signs. So I went ahead and made a couple of these because I thought these were different. Okay, but that's life is great. Cats make it better. Now we all, I know those of us that do wreathing, we all have paw print ribbon. So I tried to match to ribbon, which I'm going to share tonight. Oh, that's great, Brenda. Sure, let me do that for you. Is that better? Well, we'll see as we go. All right. All right. So... That was the cat one. You've got your little ball of yarn and you've got your fish. All right. Now, the next sign is going... Thank you, dear. Thank you. Um, the next sign is a dog sign. But I know that if I put a dog on here, somebody's going to say, well, what about my breed of dog? So this is my sign. Okay. But it's going to show you that you can give me the breed name of your dog and we will find a dog that matches your dog. 
or comes close to it. Because I know everybody out there, like I know all my, my, uh, <laughs> most of my friends in the area own some of my Yorkies. So Yorkies are our breed, okay? But there's beagles, there's shepherds, whatever dog you have, I will be able to personalize this sign to your breed and a picture of a dog similar to yours. So this is, this is life is great. Yorkies make it better. Look at that Yorkie. Is that not the cutest? So you can't tell me that there are signs out there like this that are going to have your breed on it. Okay, this one's just for me. All right. Because this was a design that I can't sell. All right. So I just wanted you to see that we can put whatever breed dog and then put a little dog down here with the bowl. Aw, thank you. Okay, so there you go. Now look, you got all kinds of colors in here. You could do bone colors. I can change the dog bowl. Um, we've got hearts and bones and paw prints all around. And there are some variations of color under here. So you can definitely match ribbon with this one. Thank you. I know there's a lot of live, love, bark out there, but boy, let me tell you, I had fun with this one. Look at the coloring on that one. Is that not adorable? That pops. That'll pop no, no matter what color you put it against. All right, Rhonda. I listed all my signs today on Etsy. I've been listing signs and ribbon all day long. So all you have to do, there's a link at the top here to my Etsy store. You just go in tomorrow. All the pictures will be on the, with the listings. I didn't have them today because I didn't want you guys to see them ahead of time. Hi, Denise. So you can go in there and look up the um, life is great dog sign. And all you have to do is private, you know, send me um, a comment. I think is how there's a way you can comment like give me extra instructions, okay? And and just tell me what kind of breed. I need to know how to get a hold of you because I don't want to sit on it for, for long periods of time, all right? So if you have a number that I can text you and I can say, okay, what do you think of this dog? What do you think of that dog? Or send me a picture of your dog and I'll try and find something as close to it as I can, okay? It's a little more... The sign is a little more expensive because I'm going the extra effort to put the breed name and the breed of the, and the dog on there. So, but this one I thought was adorable. We need, we need pops of color. Now on this one, same as this one, I know there are a lot of people out there that have rescues. So this one's live, love, rescue. Definitely any color. I mean, check this out. Any color you have, you can match to this. I have stripes that I listed today. I mean, you could go, I mean, just think how colorful that sign would be using all those primary colors. I love this sign. All right. Then I had a lot of requests. Oh, then I had a lot of requests for welcome signs. People wanted to see elongated welcome signs. All right. So where is, okay. Just need to make sure. I know, well, let me show the first one first. Okay. I know you all have this in purple or yellow. Boom. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, these are all the ones you're voting on. I will put them in my um, face on my Facebook page tomorrow with a picture, and and please vote. If you don't want to comment, that's fine. Just like or love the one that gets the most likes or loves, and requested a sign like this is going to get that sign free. I'm giving away one sign. Okay, so we've got this in yellow, and I know Missy had me use the these flowers for her ribbon like this that was in the purple okay so people wanted oval and elongated signs 
welcome signs. And there'll be more to come, but for now, um, I did 12. And, and believe 12 was enough. Okay. I know, right? Oh, that would be beautiful. Okay. We use this sign, these signs, to match the ribbon. They have this ribbon out with the yellow flowers or they have it with the purple flowers. Can you see the stripes? Let me turn it around and see if that's better for you. Try not to get the glare of the light. But it came out in yellow and it came out in purple. And and Missy, I did a, a custom sign for her mom with the uh, purple flowers and the stripes. We have a mother's sign that has the stripes on it. Hi, Tom. So we have those two. Then somebody specifically asked for the lighthouse at Cape Hatteras with a truck and a, and a inspirational saying. <laughs> okay, let light show the way. That was the inspiration for this sign. Look at those colors. Are they not beautiful? And with this one, you definitely could use your black check ribbon. I had fun with this one. I'm in love with this one. Can you see it? I know, right? It's like a painting. It's absolutely gorgeous. And just the light in there and, and the different variations in the colors throughout the sign. And the ocean. You've got the ocean here. They, they had suggested a red truck or a blue truck. So I went with the red. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. All right. These were not on the requested signs, but these were signs that I made. Okay. Because, you know... I have a serious side and I also have a whimsical side, okay? And I, I absolutely adored the colors in this that I was able to come across, okay? Flip-flops make life better. Hi, Willie. I absolutely love all the colors in this sign. And then I added a couple of the hibiscus flowers here in the triangle. Okay, you got your triangle frame in there. Hi, Dawn. That I just fell in love with. What somebody say about the lighthouse? I can get any, I can, if I can find it, I can get it. It's a matter of finding it. <laughs> If there's, you know, I'm always up for a challenge. If there's a custom sign you're looking for, you know, I can figure it out. So the Cape Hatteras one was easy to find. So that, that just worked out. Okay. But look at this. You've got your pinks in there. You've got your greens in there. You've got orange in there. You've got blues in there. You've got every color in that sign that you can pull from. I know, right? It almost reminded me of little waves, little ocean waves, colorful ocean waves. So that's, that's one that I designed. It's not one that I was asked for, but I have a girlfriend who lives in flip-flops. <laughs> So I really, I know she's going to enjoy this one. All right. You know I'm all about the country farmhouse too. Okay. This one I did welcomed. I had bought this background a while back and I fell in love with it. And when you're sign making, it's almost like you're, um, you're working with a puzzle because you have a background and now you want to find stuff to match that background or make that background pop, okay? 
This is welcome to the farmhouse. I just fell in love with that because this almost looks, this background almost looks like leather. And I love the contrast with the black and white. So with this one, you could go with black and white checks. You could even use this. This one you can go with all your, your country farmhouse colors. Um, I'm trying to think of the plant that what it's called. There's actually a, a vine that you can that, that matches this and I can't remember the name of it. Darn. But anyhow, there's that one. And I again listed all these on my Etsy store. Okay. I just didn't put the, the pictures. I was afraid somebody was going to sneak and look ahead of time. So it just says, um, I forget what it says now. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute because I, I left my Etsy shop up here. Um, listings. And I, and I started listing ribbon, and no lie, I've already sold two rolls of ribbon within the half hour of listing the ribbon. So, <clears throat> so there's a lot of matching ribbon on there to these signs, which I'll, I'll share some of it with you. Oh, it says stay tuned. So they all have the same picture, stay tuned. <laughs> Again, I didn't want anybody peeking. Now, this was another one where I had the background. And I, it, like I said, it's a puzzle. I just wanted to find out what went in the inside, in the middle of the background. And I went with a vertical. Um, this says Farm Sweet Farm. I love the bandana. And I did list bandana ribbon in my Etsy shop today. This is, this is a cross between red and burgundy, but this still looks good with it. Um, there's that one. There's this one. Um, you could go with black and white. Um, you could even go with this one. And I did list this, the Harlequin. I did list that. I'm asking everybody to vote within the next two days. I have to post it on my Facebook page, so it's not there yet. Um, so when it's there, you'll see it on Robin's Re3. Um, you will be able to go in and I will have each sign will have its own description. And I just need you to vote. <laughs> hey, Sue. All right, so there's that one. And then I also listed the butterfly ribbon that goes with the sister sign. But this ribbon that I'm going to show you next was, I loved it. When Susan used it for the lemony or the, was it the marigold sign you, you listed it? No. Where is it? My apple blossom sign. Oh no, it's not down here. Oh, that's the other one. Shoot. Well, anyhow, I have an apple blossom sign, not this one, the other one, in my farmhouse collection. And this ribbon matches it perfectly. So there's that I listed in the Etsy shop too. I listed all the checks that I had, which was purple, the yellow, the red, the orange, the green, the pink. I listed all the pinstripe ones. So they're all in there too. Okay. Um, the antique one, the antique fair one, this kind of goes nice with it too. You have your daisies on there. That goes nice with it too. My lemonade ribbon I listed, and that's already gone. Um, these I don't have listed, but I will try and get them listed. Okay. Let me know where it's at, Missy. All right. And then 
I listed some of the strawberry ribbon because it matches the, um, the farmhouse strawberry one. Now, I did have a few people that were saying they can't do a wreath on their front door because it's, it's too narrow. You can take any one of these signs and put them in a wood disc. In fact, I did show you, I did post this week or last week, the end of last week, my um, dream big little girl one. Okay. And I just had a few flowers here, a few here and a simple bow and a hanger. So I'm going to be listing a few of these wood pallets, um, circle pallets. But I mean, look at that. This was a different color. You could put this on here. I think I would stain this a darker color and then use this ribbon. Maybe this one over here. Okay. And then put a hanger on it. Didn't you see that? Go with white and black with this because this has black and white in it. Lots of choices with this one. So you all are just going to have to keep watching the website. I wish I had the other apple blossom sign down here because it, it's unbelievable how close that ribbon comes to it. I, I know I brought it down. And it's probably the last one sitting up there. The puppies are all over their mom. So she's not getting any rest up there. And she's not happy. <laughs> what do you think is your favorite so far? I'll go back over them again because I know some of you popped on late. Let me just move some of this ribbon. Okay, we've got Farm Sweet Farm. We've got Welcome to the Farmhouse. These were not requested ones. These were ones I chose to do. And then we've got the flip-flop one. Denise likes the, the lighthouse. That, that is pretty. That is pretty. I had an oval one and we had a little glitch with it. Um, so that one was not finished. So hopefully that will be finished soon. Then you've got your two welcome ones. So by the farmhouse, you mean this one here is your favorite? And then we've got Live, Love, Rescue and Live, Love, Bark. <laughs> I know you. So there's those two, and, and you've got so many choices. I mean, just look at the color ribbon choices. And remember, I'll, I'll try to list this. It'll be by the yard. But I mean, look at that. Any one of those colors you can pull out of there. You've got this one. You could pull that out too. Black and white, you could pull that out too. I don't have any bone ribbon, but I'm sure you could pull that out, you know, pull it, use the bone ribbon along with the paw prints. I don't know, do they have multicolored paw print ribbon out there? So there you got those two. Then on the cat, because everybody wanted different pet ones not like what's out there i have another cat one i'm going to be doing too that's really cute 
And then you get to choose your breed. Life is great. Whatever your breed is, make it great or make, make it better. Oh, they do? I'm going to post it tomorrow, Denise, or probably tonight. So within the next two days, I'd like everybody to vote. Um, if one of these signs is one you requested and it gets the most votes, you'll win the sign for free. I, I just, I'm telling you, I, that, that little Yorkie is just so stinking cute. I just, oh my gosh, I just fell in love with it. And then we've got the two gamer ones that somebody suggested. And then Dawn contacted me and she wanted them for her grandkids because now they want to sign. So, so we've got the two gamer ones. Three signs. Bring it on, Rhonda. We're ready. <laughs> I know um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but 12 signs in one week is a lot. Sue and, and Wilhelmina will back me up on that one. So I listed all these. So now I have to list this. And I will try and list some of the plain too. Because that I have in the 50 yard rolls. So that'll have to be purchased in the um, you know, 10, 10 yard increments. Thank you. Hey Bobby, how are you? So Robin likes the chick one chicken okay the lighthouse <laughs> thanks missy hey esther there were a bunch that weren't popping up here now i'm seeing them all thank you i know right There you go, Denise. We got it all covered. You you suggested and I listened. Um, because I love being challenged with this. And when I put that out there, I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Um, I was blown away at, at what people were requesting. Because, you know, hi, Johnny. You know, there's always been pet ones out there, always, but I didn't realize they were all the same. So, I mean, this one, you know, I could probably even change the cat on this one. And like I said, you can pick your dog breed and we can put your dog breed on there. So it looks like the lighthouse is getting a lot of likes so far. And the pet ones. And the farmhouse ones. The lighthouse is your favorite, Robin? I, I, I honestly like the bandana. Because, I mean, when I hit that, hit that ribbon, it was like, oh, score. And the flip-flop one. And I'm sorry, when, when uh, Missy had asked for that special sign for her mother with this ribbon in purple, I mean, these definitely are just beautiful. And that's, you know, that's another thing. Everybody said there's not enough welcome signs out there. There's not enough elongated ones. I have some new metal coming in that I think is going to blow you away. Um... I also have coming in, keep this in mind, um, little bones and little circles. And I'm going to be able to make little dog and cat tags too. So 
Well, that's good, Karen. For the lighthouse. Okay, let's let's look at that. All right. You got a variation of colors here. You've got your blue, you've got your red, you've got some greens, you've got some yellows, you've got your black and white. Um, let's see. You could go with that black and white. This is a real striking blue. You could go with that. Um, you could do a yellow. You could do any kind of a red. You've got your red truck in there. So you've got this red and white. Um, you've got this red and black. That way. You've got this black and white that's bigger. Um, I try and pull out some of the yellow too. Well, we did, we did do the yellow. Um, what else we got? Well, we've got this red that I listed in my shop. Um, there's even some of this blue in there. I mean, I think when you show a sign, it's best to show some of the colors of, because I don't think you can really see the color you know, from afar. So that's why I thought it's probably best to show these with what ribbons would work because you got that color right in there. So you could pull that out. I mean, that was the whole reason by loading up all the ribbon here. So I could show you what, what ribbons would go with what. Um, I listed this ribbon today because this goes with the sister sign that I listed that is just awesome. Uh-oh. <laughs> Missy's already purchasing. <laughs> Not hard to do when you love the ribbon, right? Um, let's see, what other color could we use? If you had anything with the red truck on, you could use the red truck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I could probably even use this. There you've got your light and your dark blue in there, an anchor. You could go nautical on it. Yes, you can, Jean. It's on my, it's in my Etsy store, and at the top of the comments, I listed a link. Um, let me list it again. I just don't have the pictures on all the listings yet because I didn't want anybody peeking ahead of time. And yes, I can send it to California. That's no problem. It's just that it all says um, sneak or coming soon or whatever. But I did list the name of each sign. I just didn't put a picture. Oh, thanks, Denise. <laughs> um, I don't know if this would go. Well, some of those colors are in there. You've got your coral, but that's not in there. But I would say any blue, any black, any white, any orange, any yellow, um, any red. I'm looking to see if there's any other colors I have that would go with it. This one would be pretty. Because you would pick up down below your blue and green. This is a Sam's Club ribbon that's kind of iridescent. And it's got like the blue and green. Jean, if it goes priority, it would probably get there faster. I'm noticing with my customers that anything that goes out first class mail, um, first of all, the post office is not um, is not stamping the first class mail. Okay, um, there, and it has a lot to do with the coronavirus. So if it goes priority. Boom, they have to, they have to um, scan it. There you go, Bobby. Yes, black and white stripes. I have this, but this is navy blue, but it almost looks black, um, so that could work. But yeah, I don't have any, that's one I don't have. But you could probably, okay, as far as mesh, that black and white stripe mesh would look pretty good. Your, even your black and white check mesh would look really good with it. Yep. 
I do have, I think I have this in a black and white. Um, I just love that saying, light shows the way. Let light show the way, excuse me. So there's a lot of, a lot of ideas for you. Um, I got this out because I had this in mind for something and this has that rose gold in it. I don't know what I had it out for. But this, this ribbon for fall and with that apple, apple one, that one would be gorgeous. <laughs> That's why I keep making signs, Karen, because I, I just, I don't know. I color, especially the, um, the round ones, I mean, and the flip-flop ones, those colors, I'm, I'm a bright, whimsical color girl, and that just, you know, so... But again, I'll try and get it on tonight, but if I don't, I will have it posted by morning. And if you could just go in and vote for the sign you like the most, um, because a lot of these signs were suggested by people, and that way they have a chance to win the sign. I'll be holding other contests, and just know that if you buy anything from me and you don't have ribbon to match, all you have to do, if I don't have it listed, all you have to do is ask me and I can list it for you or throw it in. Um, and I can do custom. I've been doing custom signs. I did four this weekend. And Missy will tell you, you don't pay until you're, until you're satisfied with it. Ooh, this one even look good with that probably too. Make it look really nautical with this. I knew I had this down here for, or even, oh my gosh. That would go good with that one too. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do too, I'll see if I have everything to make a wreath with the sign that wins. I think that would be pretty cool. Um... This is a yellow. Well, I've got tan. Look at that. That would go good with that one, too. Um, I might even go with this one, too. Because you got those colors in there. Oh. No. Woo! Look at that. You add a color similar to that on top of it. Oh, my gosh. even put this one as your base and then pull the red out of the sign that would look good Jean the contest already started last week it was you were to give me an idea of a sign that you wanted to see um, ideas of signs you've been looking for that weren't out there um, I'll be holding more contests. You just keep watching my page. But that's how, um, that's how it works. I've already closed the contest. I went ahead and made signs that people were looking for. And if their sign gets voted the most, gets the most likes, they win that sign free. So. Oh, here. Yep. Here's that one I was looking for with the black and the white. That would even go good with that, too. That with maybe a green to pull out some of that green. I don't like that green with it. Um, maybe that green? No. Um, can't find the one I'm looking for. Actually, could use that green. That green would look good with it. Because it's got a little bit of that mint in it. Ah! <laughs> I 
I, I didn't tell LaVon I was sending her her business sign and she got it today. I do business logos and you can get a sign and the Facebook banner. Um, and then I even do the, um, the aprons with your logo on them too. It is a lot of fun. And I said to my husband, it's just like messing with a puzzle because when I start out with a sign, I start out with one part of the sign, okay? Like this, I know they want a gamer. Um, so I started out with a control and then I look to see if I can find other pieces to go with it. Yvonne, Levon, go ahead. I did not uh, take a picture of it. So maybe you could just share it on my page. Levon painted her, drew her, um, her logo. And I, I uh, went ahead and did it a while back and I forgot to send her her sign. So Thana just had me do one for her. The aprons are 20. If you already have the design, you send it to me. It is very addicting. Well, Mina, <laughs> it very addicting. Uh, some and and I was supposed to get my grandson this week, but his father got laid off. Um, so it looks like in two weeks we're going to get him. And I thought, how am I going to continue to do this when he's here? That, it did turn out good, didn't it, Anna? Yes. Yes, it, it is just like layering because I've had this background for a while, but yet I couldn't find anything to fit in there. Just like this one. I had this background, which was just the check, the leather, and the bow. So I added the greenery, I added the welcome to, and then the farmhouse. So it's just a matter of layering on top of the things. It's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And, and let me tell you, when you do it, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of boo-boos. <laughs> I, I, I did a boo-boo where I, when you do this, okay, you, you print this, you have to print it backwards. Yes, I can, Kathy. You just... Private message me, tell me what colors, the name of your business, and you tell me what colors you want in that sign, and I'll make it happen. And it's really reasonable, too. Okay. For the banner and the sign, the banner meaning your Facebook banner, and a, a 9 by 7 sign with your logo, it's $30. If you, around $30, unless I have to pay for extra pieces to add to it um, and then if you wanted an apron it's 20 more dollars I sure can yep so yeah oh and I just realized okay wait a minute see this was the one I did on the round round wood this is one of my signs dream big little one and this one, this is, this can go on a little girl's store. And then I can personalize it by putting her name up here. So you can do that with any sign. No, I don't, I don't do business cards. <laughs> Thank you. No, I can give you the file and you could probably find someone to do the business cards, but I don't have the ability to do the business cards. These, um, the prints that you sublimate, it's a special ink and then it gets heat bonded to the sign. Okay, so I don't think it would do really well with uh, paper. Oh, that's neat. Very neat. Well, then she needs a logo, Thana. Yep. So this is just an idea. You don't have to put the sign on a wreath. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that look cute? Different background, of course. 
But for a little girl, you know, for a young girl's room or like this, if the boys don't want a wreath, this will look really good on the blank wood. Definitely color it. Did you see what I'm saying? It doesn't always have to be on a wreath. I even have this wood too. So something like this would look good with the farmhouse. Ooh, oh my gosh. That on there, you got it. Could you see some, some starfish or some seashells around this? There you go. Staples. Because I think Vanna said she wasn't happy with this to print when they did her cards. So there's a lot you can do with these. They don't always have to go on a wreath. This would be cute for a beach house, you know? Uh, thanks, Susan. And I don't know if you guys saw, was it? I have to look at your picture so I make sure. Yep. Okay, Susan did a wreath for a customer, and I did two custom signs for her. I can't wait to see the dentist one. I'm terrible with names, but I can always recognize a picture. And the pictures are so small on here, it's hard to recognize them. And this is, this is my next challenge. I have had this peach mesh for I don't know how long, and... <gasps> Oh, 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 maybe I'll have to do this one on, on uh, Wednesday. Won't that look cute on that peach colored mesh? Oh my gosh. I have had this for so long and been trying to come up with something that would match this. And look, that color right there, that peach exactly matches that sign. Right? I knew Willie would see that right away. <laughs> oh, thank you, Thana. Yes, if you wouldn't mind liking, that would be awesome. And I'll go ahead and I'll post all these signs on the re three page. And you have to vote for your favorite one. And then uh, this was one that there were like the dog ones, the welcome ones, the gamer ones, um, the lighthouse, um, they were requests. So I have the names written down. Oh, what it? Oh, 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 see? Look at that. Oh, that would be, see, I love this. I love when you guys share with me and I do stuff like this because you guys, you give me ideas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What other colors? <laughs> could go with that color on there. Oh my gosh. We could even go with that color if we wanted. <gasps> oh. Are you? Oh. I'm going to come up with another one besides this one in, in the beachy theme, but I thought I'd start with this one because this person did request that particular lighthouse and I found it. So, see, we, we don't always have particular, you know, certain ones, so we really have to do a search and then you have to find one that doesn't have any kind of like, um, doesn't need any commercial license. So, yeah. Oh, that. Oh. And then you add some blue in here with this. Oh my gosh. And this one is the navy striped. It looks black, but it's navy. And I listed a, a bunch of ribbon today. So, um, you know, that's even available too. And if for some reason your shipping is way overboard and it's not what I'm charged, I give you a refund. 
Yes. Oh, I didn't even. Thank you, Susan. That, that's just awesome. Because it is. It's in the sky up there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I sit down here and I just go through my mesh. I have so much 21-inch mesh. And I, for some reason, just love the 10-inch. I don't know why. But this one, I, this color I've had for a while, maybe I should just start selling some of the 21 inch mesh <laughs> too. Because I'll tell, I don't know, did Craft Outlet open up yet? I know everybody's having a heck of a time getting their supplies. And I bought my metal punch for my signs and a few other things. It took a month and a half for that order to come one state over. That's just, that's just unacceptable, I'm sorry. So maybe what I'll do in another couple weeks, I'll run another contest. You guys give me some more ideas of what you're looking for for the fall or for winter, and we'll do another contest. This is just awesome because you get the signs that you've been looking for, and that's, and I get to create the sign. So I'm not good at, I'm, I'm okay at drawing. I'm not that good at painting, but I'll tell you what, this is like, this is me. To be able to, to layer and put everything together, that's me. So yeah, right? That, I, I'm gonna have to do that one, I think. It is. I have a big shelf, um, a wire shelf, that it sticks out a little bit, but for the most part, it's all stacked. Um, I have totes that I have all my 10 inch stacked according to color. Um, oh, Missy, I have that. I have to check now. I do have blue. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think Missy's challenging me. The Jackie Weave. I saw Missy do that. I've tried to do it before, and I have not been able to do it. Look. Missy, you'll have to go and look at Missy. She did a, she did the Jackie Weave, and it was incredible. You you nailed it. You nailed it, girl. There you go. Maybe I should just take the the sign that's liked the most and just create a wreath kit. <laughs> hey, Dawn, I was showing him your grandson's signs. These are the ones that Dawn requested. I didn't invoice her yet. I wanted to wait until today. I know, right? That, that would be perfect. So there you go, Jean. <laughs> They've pretty much figured out the whole wreath for you, right? And I did have this. I didn't think I did. And it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, and that sheen... Pulls out the other blues in there, too. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. Oh, Dawn didn't see our signs. We have welcome in two colors. They match this ribbon or the purple ribbon. Yay. And this is one thing I talked about, Dawn. If they don't want it on a wreath, to put it on a board like this, you know, like I did the little girl sign on it just to hang on their door. And then we have two new live, love, and bark, and live, love, and rescue. And then we have this one. The dog one, you can order it according to the breed that you want, and I can put the dog on it too. 
And then we have a cat one. That was one that was requested. Um, we have the Cape Hatteras um, lighthouse that was requested. People are looking for more welcome signs and more elongated signs. Um, this was one I did. I, I love the bandana. So we, I listed a bunch of bandana ribbon today. And then the other farmhouse one, which is one I've been wanting to do for a while. So we're just sitting here shooting the breeze and sharing different ideas for ribbon. Oh, and then this one. Look at the colors on that one. And I've been dying to use this peach. And this peach, Susan suggested with the lighthouse and also it'll go with this oh my gosh you guys are awesome so yep there are 12 signs in all um just go to my my uh, facebook page tomorrow vote on your favorite one and the person that requested that sign will get it free and dawn i will invoice you for your signs and and just send me your um, your PayPal address and your home zip code so I can figure it up and I can ship them out tomorrow. And I just put the green one. See? I swear. There it is. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I know, right? That, I, I love all of them. They were so much fun. Whoa. So much fun. But I'll tell you what. I took all the pictures. Taking the pictures and listing them is a chore. Um, but I've got to put the pictures where they belong. Which I will do today or tomorrow. And so everybody can just go in and vote on their favorite one. So that person has a chance at winning the sign they chose. Okay. Thank you, Dawn. And thanks for challenging me. Tell the boys thanks for challenging me. Okay, so this one and this one, Teresa, right? Okay. You got it. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I thank you for joining me. I thank you for sharing. I thank you for all your awesome ideas. That was amazing. Oh, my gosh. This one matches this. Look, you've got that yellow and then you've got that cream color in the bone. Woo. So much fun. <laughs> Thank you, Esther. It was. It was to just sit and share ideas. I think that's, you know, and I try to do that when I have my lives because I think it's really important. I, I usually, when I get to the bow, say, okay, what do you think as far as ribbon and such? Um, I think it's really important. We're a sharing community, and it's awesome to be able to sit and share with everybody because you guys give me ideas. I mean, you gave me these awesome ideas for signs. And and I'm going to knock your socks off, hopefully, by the end of next week. If the sign comes in that I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, LeVon. Um, I'm, I am. I'm going to knock your socks off. You're going to love it. So I'm going to keep them coming. This is my, my creative time. Hopefully when my grandson finally comes, just then I have to start watching them. It, I can still do this. <laughs> I have to be able to still do this. Um, all my shipping is in the morning in my pajamas because I just... That's my thinking time. But I'll tell you what, if I sit at the computer, I'm going to make a sign. And then I don't get out of my pajamas sometimes until before I have to open my store door. 
<laughs> so I got to stop doing that. But um, thank you, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, just go ahead and go on to the, to the Etsy store. And um, if you have any questions, and don't forget to vote tomorrow. I need your votes because I do not want to pick a winner. I do not want to pick a winner. Because I'd probably pick my favorite one, and that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> I don't think it would be fair anyhow. And if you don't have ribbon to match your signs and you need ribbon, contact me before you complete your order because I will be able to um, get a ribbon out there for you to choose from. All right. All right, guys. I'll try and do a video later of the pups. They have their ears now, and believe me, they're bugging the heck out of their mom. So... It's, it's rather funny. <laughs> she can't get away from them. They keep getting out of the whelping box. So they're driving her insane. A little bit of payback because she, she can drive me crazy a lot. So it's fun. And did you see they all have names already? We've got Milo, we've got Chloe, and we've got Amber. They all have new parents, and the parents are so excited. So, all right, you guys have a great evening, and thank you again. Thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to this small business. All right, you have a great evening. Good night.